Hey guys, in this video we are going to be making a textured granny square pillow. For this pattern you can use any weight of yarn that you would like and a full millimeter hook size bigger than what is recommended for your yarn. For example, the white pillow shown here is done with a number 4 medium weight yarn with a recommended hook size of 5.5 millimeters. Therefore, I used a 6.5 millimeter hook. The gray pillow is made with a number 6 bulky weight yarn with a recommended hook size of 9 millimeters. Therefore, I used a 10 millimeter hook to work the gray pillow. For this tutorial, I am going to be using a number 4 medium weight yarn with a recommended hook size of 5.5 millimeters. So I will be using a 6.5 millimeter hook. To get started with this pattern, we are going to start with a magic ring. And in this magic ring, we are going to start with a chain of three. And this does count as a double crochet for this first round. So chain three and then double crochet one time around the magic ring and that is two double crochets so far. Then we are going to triple crochet around the magic ring. So again, triple crochet. And then we are going to work three double crochets around the magic ring. So one, two, and three double crochets. And then we're going to triple crochet again. Then we will again crochet three double crochets. And then triple crochet around the magic ring. So we are making a square for this first round and each triple crochet is a corner. So we now have three corners on our magic ring so far. So we will again work three double crochets around the magic ring and then work one triple crochet which counts as our last corner and then double crochet one more time around the magic ring for three double crochets on this side of the square and then we will pull our magic ring closed like so and then slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning three from the beginning of this round. So for this first round we should have 12 double crochets all together and four triple crochets all together with the triple crochets being the corners and three double crochets on each side of the square so far. For the next round, round two, we will start with a chain of two, which does not count as a stitch for this round or any of the remaining rounds. And then we are going to double crochet into the same stitch. We will then front post double crochet around the next stitch which are the first two double crochets of this round and the next stitch is the first triple crochet in the first corner of our square so far. So in this stitch we are going to work two double crochets to begin with. So one and two and then we will work a triple crochet which again is the very corner stitch and then work two more double crochets into the same stitch. Four, five stitches all in the same stitch with two double crochets, a triple crochet, and two more double crochets all in that same stitch. We are now on the next side of the square with three double crochets. So we are going to work a front post double crochet around the next stitch 
then work a double crochet into the next stitch just regularly and then work a front post double crochet around the next and then again we are at the triple crochet for the corner so we will do the same thing by working two double crochets into the same stitch and then a triple crochet and then two more double crochets all into this same stitch for five stitches all in the same stitch which include two double crochets a triple crochet and two more double crochets and that is what we are going to do all the way around this round until you have worked the last corner so again you will work a front post double crochet around the next stitch then work a double crochet into the next stitch normally and then work a front post double crochet around the next stitch and again we are at the triple crochet for the corner so we will work two double crochets a triple crochet and two more double crochets all in this same stitch and you will repeat this one more time so you have worked the last corner and then we will finish off the round together when you have worked those five stitches in the last triple crochet of the round for the fourth corner of this round we will then go on to work the last stitch which will be one front post double crochet around this last stitch and then we are going to slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet of this round so for this round you should have a front post double crochet a double crochet and front post double crochet on each side of our square so far and then two double crochets a triple crochet and two more double crochets in one stitch for each corner that leaves us with four triple crochets eight front post double crochets and 20 double crochets for this round for a total of 32 stitches altogether for the next round round three we will again start with the chain of two which does not count as a stitch and we will double crochet in this same stitch and then front post double crochet around the next stitch then double crochet into the next and front post double crochet around the next stitch and again we are at the triple crochet for the corner so we will work two double crochets a triple crochet and then two more double crochets all in this same stitch the triple crochet for the corner and of course again the triple crochet of these five stitches is again the corner stitch we will then front post double crochet around the next stitch double crochet into the next front post double crochet around the next and double crochet into the next and repeat this until you get to the triple crochet for the next corner double crocheting into the stitch and front post double crocheting around the next until you again get to the next triple crochet where we will work two double crochets a triple crochet and then two more double crochets all into this same stitch having the triple crochet again be the very corner stitch then front post double crochet around the very next stitch and double crochet into the next and front post double crochet around the next stitch and repeat that until the next triple crochet for the corner where you will work these five stitches 
and do this all the way around. When you have worked the last corner of the round, we will then continue on working these last few stitches like we have for the rest of the round. So we will front post double crochet around the very next stitch and then double crochet into the next and front post double crochet around the last stitch and then we will slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet of the round. So that was the end of round three and you will notice that at the end of each round your square will try to like curl up like this but all you have to do is just stretch it out a little bit at the corners and it will lay flat and not have that curling that it tries to do and at this point we will go on to repeat round three until you have the size for this square that you would like so again each round from here on out is going to be worked exactly the same starting with a regular double crochet and ending with a front post double crochet on each round. Each corner of each round is also going to be worked the same with two double crochets, a triple crochet, and two double crochets in one stitch for the corner, which is the triple crochet from the previous round, and the triple crochet of those five stitches will act as the next corner for your next round. In between your corners for each round, there will be a front post double crochet directly after the corner, then a double crochet, a front post double crochet, a double crochet, front post double crochet, however many times until the next corner. And before the next corner, you will also always have a front post double crochet. So again, this is exactly what we will be doing for each round. In between each corner, you will have a front post double crochet at either end, altering double crochets and front post double crochets in every stitch in between the two corners. For the next round, round four, we will do the same thing. And I will run through this with you guys one or two more times so that we have a full grasp on it. And then we will go on to work this however many times you would like until your square is the size that you would like it to be. So we are going to start with a chain of two, which does not count as a stitch, and double crochet into the same stitch, and then front post double crochet around the next, and repeat this until you get to the triple crochet for the corner. So again, double crochet into the next stitch, and front post double crochet around the next, and we have two more stitches until the triple crochet for this corner. So again, double crochet into the next stitch and front post double crochet around the next. And then we are at the triple crochet for the corner. So we will double crochet two times into this stitch and then triple crochet into the same stitch and then work two more double crochets into the same stitch for five stitches all in this same stitch. We will then work down the next side of the square. So we are going to front post double crochet around the very next stitch and double crochet into the next and front post double crochet around the next stitch and repeat this all the way until the next triple crochet for the corner. Again by double crocheting into the next stitch and front post double crocheting around the next and again repeat this until you get to the triple crochet for the next corner. When you get to the triple crochet for the next corner you will end with a front post double crochet and that is how it will be on each side of the square for every single round and then we will work 
two double crochets into this next stitch and then a triple crochet into the same stitch and then we will work two more double crochets into this same stitch for five total stitches in this same stitch in the triple crochet of the corner from the last round and again this triple crochet on each corner is the corner for the next round so we will repeat this all the way around this round again by front post double crocheting around the very next stitch and double crocheting into the next and front post double crochet around the next stitch and repeat that until the triple crochet for the next corner again by double crocheting into the next stitch and front post double crocheting around the next and repeat that until the triple crochet for the next corner and all the way around until you get to the last corner when you have worked those five stitches in the last corner we again will continue this pattern for the last few stitches so we will front post double crochet around the very next stitch and then double crochet into the next and repeat this until we get back to the beginning double crochet of the round so front post double crochet around the next stitch double crochet into the next and we will always end with a front post double crochet around the last stitch of the round and slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet and that is the end of round four so again that was a repeat of round three for round four and we will repeat the exact same steps for every single round until you have the size for your square that you would like so for round five we are going to start with a chain two which does not count as a stitch and double crochet into the same stitch front post double crochet around the next double crochet into the next and front post double crochet around the next and repeat that until you get to the triple crochet for the corner here we are at the triple crochet for the corner ending with a front post double crochet before that and in this triple crochet for the corner again we will work two double crochets a triple crochet and two more double crochets all in this same stitch just as we have been and then front post double crocheting around the next stitch double crochet into the next and front post double crochet around the next and repeat that until you get to the next triple crochet for the next corner again by double crocheting into the next stitch and front post double crocheting around the next and repeat that until you get to the next triple crochet when you get to the next triple crochet for the next corner again you will work two double crochets into the same stitch then a triple crochet and two more double crochets all into the same stitch and we will continue this pattern all the way around this round until you get to the last corner and we will finish off this round together when you have worked the last corner of this round we will then continue on working the pattern for these last few stitches exactly how we have been until you get back to the beginning double crochet of this round so we will front post double crochet around the very next stitch double crochet into the next and front post double crochet around the next stitch until you get back to the very beginning double crochet of this round 
Again, always ending with a front post double crochet for the last stitch of the round and slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet. And that is the end of round five. So again, you will go on to repeat those steps until you have the size for your square that you would like. And on each round, your square will be increasing by 16 stitches if you would like to keep count like that. I am going to go on to use this to cover an 18 by 18 inch pillow. So I am going to go on to work this same pattern until my square is a total of 14 rounds altogether. I am going to be using a pillow insert again that is 18 by 18 inches for this tutorial and for the inside of my pillow but it is up to you whether you want to use a pillow insert or just stuff your pillow. I have done both, both using the pillow insert and stuffing your pillow and it is really up to you on what you would like. Of course, using the pillow insert is a little more uniform and stuffing your pillow, you get to decide how fluffy or flat it is. So it is up to you which method you want to use and how big you make your square. If you are using a pillow insert, you will of course want to make sure that your square is a size that will fit your pillow inside when you have two of your squares sewn together. If you are using your own stuffing, you can of course go on to work the square to be whatever size you would like the pillow that you are making to be. When you have made your square the size that you would like it to be, you will then finish off this first square and make a second square exactly the same, making sure to make it the same amount of rounds. Again, I'm going to go on to work my squares to be 14 rounds all together from the middle all the way to the outer edge, 14 rounds all together. When you have both of your squares worked the size that you would like them to be and finished off, we will then go ahead and sew them together so that we can fill our pillow. So to sew this together, we are going to start with the faces of the squares facing each other so that the wrong side of the square is on the outside on both sides. And then we are going to take a needle and some yarn and go through the very middle stitch of the corner on both squares. So that is the triple crochet in the corner on both squares and then you will tie that down. Then to sew this together, we will then go through these same two stitches one more time from the front to the back and you can hold down this string here with this as you go but then we will go into the next two stitches starting in the front stitch and then going through the back stitch and sewing this all the way down making sure that the stitch goes on top of where you are working. So again, go into the next stitch on the front square and the back square, sewing this together from the front to the back and doing this all the way around. And if you are using a pillow insert, you'll want to leave one full side of the square open and if you are using stuffing to stuff your pillow, you will want to leave a hole that is big enough to fit your hand into. So again, go on to sew this all the way around, leaving a hole big enough for whatever method you are using to stuff your pillow. When you have sewn your two squares together all the way around, leaving a hole big enough to stuff your pillow, we will then flip our work inside out and stuff our pillow. When you have your work flipped right side out, 
and your pillow stuffed. We will then go on to sew this last side together or the last hole that you have open. So your string should be coming out of the middle of your work like this still. So what we are going to do is go through the next open stitch on the back square from the middle of our work to the back just like that going to the outside and then we are going to go through the next two stitches from the front to the back so this is the same stitch we just went in but it's the same stitch matching with the front for the next available stitches so we are going to go through that again from the front to the back and then repeat that all the way down just like we have been going through the next two stitches from the front to the back all the way across this next side so again we are just going to continue going through the next two stitches from the front to the back and sewing this together all the way across until your last hole is closed when you have gotten that hole all the way sewn up and you have your string here you will want to go ahead and finish this off and weave in the ends and that's all there is to it so I hope that that was helpful and enjoyable for you if it was please hit that sub like and bell button and leave me a comment to tell me what you think I hope that you guys go on to create many more amazing things and until next time guys I'll see ya